Sometime today in Massachusetts, an inmate will walk out the doors of a prison or a jail after serving his time. Now, the question usually is, is where that ex-con will go. Yeah, well, one local sheriff is making sure inmates walk away from a life of crime and into a real job. Roby's here with the details. Chris, some people might get upset when they hear inmates are receiving job training behind bars. But as Sheriff Peter Katusian told me, these men are going to be your neighbors someday. So this week I traveled to Bill Rickham, Mass, where they're cooking up a plan to give former criminals another chance. It's this week's Roby on the Road. Looking around this busy kitchen, it could be the back of the house of a Boston restaurant. But it's actually in the big house, the Middlesex House of Correction in Bill Ricca. Some of these inmates have three-year reservations here. Barred from the outside world, they have no intention of going from the frying pan back into the fire. Almost like a chance of freedom, the learning a skill. Cisco is one of the many inmates taking advantage of a culinary arts program here. A recipe for success. Inmates that come in here, they do the program, you know, it gives them that the confidence of, you know, going out there and, you know, reaching goals and stuff like that. Jeffrey is serving a three-year stint for assault and battery. He told me his violent past is far behind him now. Nevertheless, the knives these inmates used are tethered and locked to the tables. Right now, he's focused on carving a fruit bowl and hoping for a better slice of life. I think it's an excellent program. It provides a lot of opportunity uh, for an otherwise sometimes dismal environment. Uh, it definitely gives us something to look forward to on a daily basis. Good to see you guys. It's delicious. Thank you, gentlemen. Yep. It's high noon and the sheriff's in the house. Middlesex County Sheriff Peter Katusian, proud of the program he oversees. Every person sentenced to the House of Corrections will be back out on the street. It's my job to turn them out better than when they came in. Uh, the fact is that all of these programs show that they reduce recidivism, uh, that they reduce the chance that they'll be back committing another crime. The 25th Culinary Arts Class. By graduating from the 12-week course, these men have earned a certificate of participation from Shawshin Regional Technical High School and credits towards a degree at Middlesex Community College. It's true. I share something with all of you. I work in a jail. She's not kidding. Boston celebrity chef Lydia Shire, a commencement speaker, runs the restaurant Scampo in what used to be the Charles Street Jail. She told me she has no qualms about hiring an ex-con for her staff. If you are a person who is, wants to grab this profession and go, it makes no difference where you were a year ago. I don't care. The inmates don't get to eat the meals they cook, only invited guests do, like at the graduation. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. My hope is that I get to see you again. But my hope is that I don't have to see you in here. My hope is that I get to see you out in the community. Where did that come from? Like, who came up with that idea? That's well, you know, he, he, Sheriff Katushin is so sincere when he says, look, you guys, he looked them right in the eyes, I'm going to see you again out there, but become a productive member of the community. Awesome. Right? Mm -hmm. Great idea. I think what Lydia said was so cool that, right. you know, if you can, you can change your life around. Sometimes people need a second, yep. second, second chance. shot. Yep. And look. Uh, they do not eat the steak tips, by the way. <laughs> That's for the staff. They cook for the staff. They cook right. for invited guests. It's a hard life in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And these guys are realizing that every day. Mm -hmm. But to get a break during the day, to do something yeah. like that, to focus so on nice. their future, yeah, like Great. the one guy there, Jeffrey, told me, he says, this is what I'm focused on now. Productive energy. The life beyond bars. And was the steak good? You got to sample the it. The steak was excellent. <laughs> excellent. Thank awesome. you very much. Thanks, Great story.